Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and I am first up this month for UK Scrap Addicts. So we have a different theme every month and this month it is a sketch. Now this sketch has been designed by the lovely Laura Rumble for us and the sketch will remain on screen um, whilst I create my layout. So all I'm doing here is I'm just, I'm dusting off my big shot and my dies. Do you remember this thing? It cuts dies out and everything in all different shapes. Um, so exciting. Actually, I have pulled out my big shot a few times recently and um, I'm actually loving reconnecting with it again. We're on speaking terms again. So all I'm doing here is I'm using um, some cocoa vanilla papers. So these are from the More Than Words and from, um, yeah, one of the other ones. And all I'm doing here is I'm just cutting out different size stars and um, layering them on top of one another. So um, I think I've used three or four different papers. I think I used three and then I used the reverse of one of them as well. So I've got some pinks and teals and I'm also using some vellum as well. Um, as another one of the layers in some of the um, in some of the stars. So what I've actually done off screen is I have cut some bigger stars and um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, stitch through them. So I've done the bigger ones already um, to save you the boredom of watching me do all of that and um, I'm going to um, I'm going to stitch these ones. So the bigger stars I've done four layers and the uh, next size down um, I've done three layers because I think it's just too hard to get through the sewing machine otherwise the smaller they are. Um, so all I'm doing here then I've kept all of the scraps from my little squares um, that I cut out and I'm just using those scraps to um, die cut out um, a whole load of smaller stars as well just like that. So I'm going to put those to one side for the minute and then I'm going to work on my uh, my stitching. So I haven't glued these together. They are all loose um, on top of each other at the moment. I know that sometimes when you use glue through a sewing machine, um, the needle gets stuck, um, especially if you use double sided tape. Um, so I managed to do it without and all I've done is I've just run the stitching from the top point of the star all the way through to the bottom. And I know I shouldn't pull it out like that, but <clears throat> it's the easiest way to get it out. And then that enables me to be able to lift up the edges of the star to um, create some texture and dimension. Now I stick pretty close to the sketch um, as it is, as you can see on screen. So there are a whole bunch of stars um, all the way around the left side of the page. And um, for me, it looks like on the sketch, there's two photos and then um, a bunch of labels in the middle. I do end up just going with one photo um, in the end. And yeah, I can't wait for you to see the finished layout on this. So there, there's the bigger stars as well. And um, as I said, I've got those small little stars as well, which will be my, um, to be able to fill in the little gaps. So I am working not with white cardstock. I am working with a pattern paper, which is not like me. Um, but I'm really embracing using up pattern paper at the moment. And um, yeah, it's it's a good thing. We don't need to stick to, I mean, my comfort zone is white cardstock, but we don't need to stick to um, a blank canvas. This is a blank canvas. It just has a slight pattern on the background. Um, and with it being a pretty paper, it certainly helps. So I've just used, this is a white Posca paint pen um, in the small size nib and just give it a bit of a shake up and I have um, splattered some of that paint. Now I've just, I've got a scrap of Christmas paper here and I am just using that as a mask um, because I want my paint splatters to go in that almost semicircle shape um, which is where my stars are going to be. So I'm uh, going to add in some gold um, Heidi Spot colour shine as well 
in that same star shape. Oh, <laughs> I nearly missed the bottle then if you caught that. And um, I let this dry before I start adding my stars on. It did warp a little bit, but it does settle down um, once all of the weight of these stars are on. They're not weighty, but obviously there's um, some four layers of pattern paper on there. So I formed my bigger stars in that semicircle first of all, and then I'm just tucking in the medium sized stars. And I've done five of each <laughs> until I figure out that I only need one in the middle. Um, so then I add in the four medium around the outside, continuing that arc, and then the one in the middle, um, because I don't want it to look too moon shaped. And because I've got um, thread on there from where I've sewed through the stars, I am just going to use some wet glue to stick them down. And then you'll see there I just pulled up that top layer to um, to help give that the dimension that I was going for. So once these are all down, two more, then um, oh, I always need to stick the little medium ones as well. There we are. Um, so I'm just going to stick those down. Now, if you're not over in the UK Scrap Addicts Facebook group, then what are you waiting for? Please come over. Um, we love to see um, you join in with our monthly challenge um, each month. Um, we'd love to see how you got on with last month's challenge, which was sewing, I think. Well, it's currently this month, as I say it. But um, but yeah, this month we are going with the sketch challenge. Now, if you've never used a sketch before, then uh, now is your chance to use one. I like to go, um, I'm a bit of a rogue. I like to just do whatever I want on my layouts. Um, but sometimes when I'm feeling a little uninspired, a sketch can really help kickstart um, a scrapbook page. So I highly recommend if you've never tried using a sketch um, to, and there's loads, there are thousands of sketches online. You just Google scrapbook layout sketch or something like that. Um, and you'll be able to find loads, but we'd love it if you come over to the group and join in with our, um, with our little group over there and have a go at the sketch as well. Show us what you have created. Um, you can find all of the inspiration on Instagram as well. The whole design team, um, upload to our Instagram uh, Instagram page so that is um, just UK Scrap Addicts so go over to Instagram and give us a little follow there as well and of course this video is going up on YouTube so you can watch this back at a later date um, if you want to follow along and give this a go as well now if you are watching this on my YouTube channel um, then please go over to UK Scrap Addicts. We have a team, um, there's 14 of us, and um, it gives you plenty of inspiration every single month. Um, and yes, yeah, so we'd love it if you can support us on YouTube as well. Um, so I'll leave a link to the UK Scrap Addicts YouTube channel in the comment section, not the comments, in the description box down below for you to go over and give us a cheeky little follow there too. Now, all I'm doing with the um, stars here are, um, I'm, I've got the two smallest sizes and some of the small ones I'm just adding on as a single layer and then the next size up, I'm layering two stars up on top of each other. I wasn't too sold on that star there, so I just moved it. Um, just whilst I was chatting away there, I added some more white ink splatters on top of the stars along with some more gold, uh, gold Heidi Swap Colour Shine and... Um, I liked how messy that made it all look. And again, if you're not one for um, using splatters and stuff, it really does help add extra interest to the page um, and it makes it not so flat and so paperish, if that's the right term. Um, I also chose a photograph of um, me and my sister and um, she's a little terror. She um, she she's severely brain damaged so you can't say to her um, let's take a selfie because she doesn't understand what that is um, and I, I swear though whenever I get the camera out she always looks the other way and she has like a half grin on her face so I think she knows she's doing it um, so she is a little madam um, so I decided to scrapbook a photo of me and her with a little snapchat filter of course 
And then my title um, is going to be about her. So I'm using these little um, glittery thickers, which I absolutely love. Um, but I've run out of some of the letters. So I've run out of T's halfway through this. Um, I also made another layout today and I've run out of S's now. And I think I've run out of L's as well. So yeah, I might need to source myself another pack of these. Uh, I don't think I've touched the foil ones. It's just the little gold glitter ones that I love. So here I am now. These are foam thickers and generally they would stick um, pretty well on um, to any pattern paper. However, because they are going up onto these um, stars that are layered and obviously the, the layers are lifted up, um, the stitching as well um, I'm not convinced that they would stay on um, the layout permanently so I'm just adding a tiny amount of wet glue um, onto the back just to help them um, stay firmly stuck this is where I've run out of T's so I turned an L upside down and this is why I run out of L's <laughs> because I use them to create my T's um, there are actually a couple of different ways that you can do this. So I turned an L upside down and added on um, the extra little bit to make the rest of the T that was still slightly too long. Um, and you can also, what did I do to make the other one? Oh, I used an I and then I added the arm um, bit at the top of the T. I'm, I'm, I know there's a special name for it and I can't think of what it is, but let's call it the arm at the top of the T. Um, so my title um, is called um, I Told the Stars About You, which I think is really cute. And um, I'm using the space on the larger stars, apart from the eye, because I didn't have room for that. Um, I'm using the space on the larger stars to locate my title. So rather than having my title in a straight line just across my layout, um, I thought I would make um, use of those stars to um, home my title. And it gives it um, a slight different take on um, putting a title on your layout. Because I am one really for having it just in a straight line. So this, um, yeah, I was pleased with, um, with how the title turned out on this one. And then that last word. Now, I don't use any ephemera. I don't use any stickers. I don't use any enamel dots. Um, I don't really use anything else apart from pattern paper, um, a bit of ink, a bit of paint, um, and just uh, my white gel pen. That's literally all I use on this layout. A bit of vellum, obviously, in the stars as well, and the thickers. That's all I use on this layout. Now, I did want to um, try and fill in some more of these gaps. So I was going to get my star stencil out um, and try and mess around with texture paste, but it was not going to happen. It was just going to be such a mess. So um, I just grabbed my white uh, Uniball Signo uh, pen and add in these little doodled, hand doodled stars across my layout. Um, and this is pretty much it finished. So I just wanted to... Um, thank Laura for designing the sketch for us this month it is absolutely fabulous and I can see myself um, coming back to this sketch again and again to create some more layouts and um, yeah be sure as I said to head on over to our Instagram go over to our Facebook group come and say hi um, and come and give us some support and um, if you've enjoyed the video, then I um, do ask if you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up. The support is always greatly appreciated. And um, if you have any questions, then please feel free to um, leave them in the comments section. That's right. The comments, not the description. Um, leave them in the comments section down below. And um, I shall be back here again um, on UK Scrap Addicts um, on the first of next month with next month's theme, which I can't tell you what it is yet. Um, and on my channel, I should be back again really soon with another video. So thank you very much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure. And until next time, take care. Bye.